The crane industry has its problems. Burton have taken a dangerous process and turned it into a precision art. While there's been incredible innovations in crane technology over the last 100 years, on the ground it's a completely different story. There's something very wrong with this picture. Trevor, explain to me what's going on here. So Daryl and the team are using tag lines to reposition the load into position, which is a typical manoeuvre on a worksite. You're relying on two scraggly pieces of rope to, to twist this thing into position. That's the way it's been done for hundreds of years. And he's standing right under it there. Surely that's not safe. Yeah, and you can see that is a real demonstration of how risky this work can be. You know, people get killed all the time from being under loads. No one's thought about this problem up until today. It's been done this way forever. That's where the opportunity comes from, to do things smarter and quicker and more efficiently. I, as an I see what you've done to solve this problem, you've just shrunk it. <laughs> Not quite, Brandon. Tell me roughly what's going on in this big yellow contraption here. Well, we've got two big flywheels in each end, and, and obviously when you spin up a flywheel, it gives you a force and that creates your orientation. I can actually control the way that this load orientates through a smartphone. Yes. It's, it's as simple as that, it's an app. Yes. And I, I hit left, yep. and it basically goes left. Now you've had a go with the model, why don't you have a go at the real thing? Kidding me, you're going to trust me with this big thing? Absolutely, very simple, very easy to control, and shows the, really the strength of the technology. And it's as simple as actually, I'm just hitting right, and this thing is, is, is spinning right, right, left, and that's as simple as that. Yeah, it is, really is, and you know, there's not much more we can train you. It's really about energy and efficiency. Love it. Just give it a one little tap, and it'll slow it down, and you put it in the square. There you go. <laughs> Try this at home. Get a spinning bike wheel and sit on a swivel chair and you really get an idea of how this technology works. The Verton R series is set to revolutionise the crane industry. Next, a medtech innovation to counteract infection. Turning the complex process of disinfection into a single button press is just one of the amazing features of this next story. Ultrasound scans are being performed all day, every day, all over the world, and in some pretty intimate places. So, it's important that they're kept clean and safe. John, you've brought me into high school chemistry class. What is all this? This is the traditional way of doing high-level disinfection. Uh, we're clearly wearing uh, personal protective equipment so that we don't get any of this dangerous chemistry on us. Take this probe and then place it into the disinfectant solution. We've got a disinfectant chemistry here that can be quite toxic. This is going to take 12 minutes. Ordinarily we would actually check that the concentration is still high enough. We have dirty probes coming in here all day going into that disinfectant and it's only changed uh, every 28 days. 28 days? Oh that scares me a little. So now we have to transfer it to the rinsing solution. One minute in each solution. And back to waiting. Was that enjoyable? I mean, it took a long time, didn't it? Yeah. Now we've been very diligent in how we've done this, but you can imagine if we shortcut it on the, on the disinfectant time, or we skipped a rinse, or we, or we cut back on the rinse, there are all kinds of bad things that can happen to patients. So now we'll go through the high-level disinfection process with the Trophon system. This is an entirely different chemistry. It uses sonicated hydrogen peroxide, so it's very environmentally friendly, unlike the toxic chemicals we were dealing with earlier. This device actually captures all of the information internally. It forms like a cyclonic uh, shape of mist, and that will perform high-level disinfection in seven minutes. And now, if you swipe your operator card, the device will know who has loaded the probe. Okay, so it's all locked now. Yes. And I just click start. You're ready but... to start disinfection. All right. Okay, and so now high level disinfection is done. So we've done that in half the time with a fully automated process and we've had no exposure to toxic chemicals. The concept of this came from our chairman, Maurice Stang, walking through a market one day looking at some bonsai trees and viewing a misting device. And almost 20 years later, you've got one of the most advanced technologies in the world. You say worldwide, so what sort of scale are we talking about with these devices? The company has representation in over 20 countries. But if I take the United States, for example, over 20 million patients on an annual basis are prevented from the risk of cross-contamination because the ultrasound transducer that has been used on them has actually been disinfected in one of these Trophon devices.
In modern day gynaecology, we use a lot of ultrasound. It's much more efficient than the traditional methods. Trophon's a small machine which I can fit in easily into my office. Chance of getting infection is basically zero as a consequence of doing this. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a great thing to be able to add to my service, to my patients. The chemicals used in traditional disinfection of medical equipment can cause rashes, respiratory and other problems. The Trophon, it's not just convenience, it's actually safer for the operators and their patients. 